Hi, welcome. Today, we will learn about the AI retakes feature and how to use it to add more variety and expression to your vocal performances, plus some other very useful tools. You know, just like working with a real singer, it is possible to ask Synthesizer Studio 2 Pro to generate multiple takes of the same phrase using any voice you choose, as well as combining all those different takes together so you can get the perfect vocal for your project. So, let's get started. Okay, once you're inside the software with a voice chosen and some notes and lyrics inputted, you have to select which notes you want to retake. So first, let's give a listen to our example. For this one, I'm using Natalie 2, a versatile female voice ideal for plenty of genres, from jazz to pop to electronic music. Let's hear it. Okay, to change the section you want, make sure you are in the right note group. Then you can press Command A to select the whole group, or just click and drag to select the notes you want to modify. Okay, now click on the notes panel icon to find our new and expanded AI retakes feature, as well as other couple interesting things. This new AI retakes design allows you to retake the overall characteristics of the vocal, or just the pronunciation timing timbre, and pitch separately with just a single click. That gives you the possibility of endless variations for the same vocal line. Let's give some overall retakes for this section. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, okay, I like this one. But let's change the timbre a little bit. I think that sounds nice. Also, with the take selector, you can determine which takes you would like to use or keep. For example, if you select a different phrase of the vocal and generate new takes, you can combine all takes together and get your perfect vocal. Let's use these notes as example. Now let's retake them. And as you can see, we have both takes inside of the same group. Let's move it here. Additionally, here on the notes panel, you can determine if the selected notes are in singing mode or rap mode, as well as adjust the pitch curve and timbre using the expression path. On this path, we have four modes. Vibrant will exaggerate the expression, providing stronger transitions and deeper vibratos than the default. Refined provides a result closer to the general public's taste, but you don't get much variation out of it. Rigid flattens the pitch curve and only has small changes at the start and end of the note. And raw generates performances with a lot of variation and has a wide possibility for different patterns, but sometimes it can produce out of tune pitch curves. If you double click on the path, it will reset to default. We also have the vibrato modulation, where you can control the amount of vibrato you want on the notes. And this same slider in rap mode changes to intonation, which is the tendency of the pitch, and tone, which determines how the pitch curve will approach the note on the piano roll. Okay, you can also set the language of the notes so the same voice can sing in all languages available, and change the pronunciation of the word inside the note. Okay, for this next example, I'm using Liam, a male voice ideal for very soft ballad rock styles or a little bit more aggressive genres. I already set the overall configuration of the voice using the vocal modes and parameters feature, which we already covered on a previous video. So, let's hear it.
Okay, I would like to add some flavor to this section over here. So let's just select it, move it a little bit to raw, and here it. Okay, let's give it a retake on the pitch. No for me. On the pronunciation as well. No for me. Now for high only on the pitch. I like it. Now, let's say I want to double this vocal. I can duplicate this track on linked. And I don't want to spend too much time on this, so let's select the whole group with command A, move the cursor to the safe choice with refined, and give it some retakes on the overall. We can repeat this process to create whole sections. For the next one, I'm going to move it to Vibrant. Give it a couple more retakes and pan both tracks to the sides, as well as adjust the volume of each track. And for the last one, I'm going to drop the notes by an octave with Command A and Command Down. Let's use the default mode for this one and retake it a couple times. So, we just created this whole vocal section. Let's hear it. I love it. I made this real quick, but you know, you can get as detailed as you want when doubling or creating harmonies. Okay, for this last example, I made some choir vocals, mostly on rigid mode, so the pitch is very stable, but gave it a couple retakes to give it a slight variation, and the background refrain vocal using Felicia 2, mostly on raw, so we get a more crude performance. For the background refrain, when raw mode was going too much out of pitch, I moved it to refined to go over safe ground. And for the main choir, when Rigid was lacking some expression, I moved the cursor over to Vibrant to make it more expressive. Okay, let's give it a listen. <laughs> okay, so today we learned how to use AI retakes and the expression pad in order to boost the performance of our vocal and add very interesting variations to it. From emotional and standout performances to more subtle background vocals, Synthesizer VStudio 2 Pro is ideal for many different contexts and goals. Thank you so much. Follow us so you can get more done in less time with Synthesizer V, and of course, see you in the next video.